Welcome to the Great Outdoors RV Company. My name is Ryan Specht and today I'd like to talk to you about some items that you might want to have for your new camper. First we'll go over items that are must-haves, then some stuff that would be kind of nice to have, and then some stuff that you might want to just put on the wish list. Okay, let's go over a few things that are going to be essentials that you'll definitely need to have when you get a new camper. So one of the first things that you'll have to have with, with any trailer out there is what's called a brake controller. This allows you to set the tension on the brakes of the trailer from the tow vehicle and it can be adjusted on the fly while you're going down the road. There are a few different levels of it. What I've got here is uh, the P3. This is one of the higher end ones. It can be set up for several different trailers and you, you can just adjust uh, hit buttons to adjust the stuff or you can have some with dials. There's, there's there's a variety of different kinds of brake controllers out there, but uh, it's definitely something that you're going to need when towing a trailer. Some other items that I definitely would uh, recommend having, a pressure reducing valve for your water inlet, because whether you're at a park with a hookup or if you're filling up your tank at home, you, you don't know what the regulated pressure is coming from the connection that you have, and you got PEX lines for the piping and the plumbing in the RV, and so in order to not blow that out, you'll want to put on a pressure reducing valve or a a pressure regulator water regulator um, another thing and this is something we include in our starter kit for folks this is a 30 amp service to uh, 110 adapter so you can plug your 30 amp service coach into a regular 110 outlet another item a lot of folks will get is an adapter to go down from a 50 amp service coach to a 30 amp service because not all parks offer 30 amp service this will also allow you to adapt down from the 50 to a 30 and then you can go from the 30 to the 110 so definitely something that you'll you'll want to have and I always recommend getting a surge protector because a surge protector I mean you'll spend a thousand dollars on a computer and you'll go spend 150 bucks on a surge protector for that thousand dollar computer I think you'd want to protect your RV investment as well so a surge protector again there's a lot of different varieties out there I've got one of the more basic models here but uh, carry them from the the basic ones all up to the real high-end ones here in our parts store at the great outdoors Another thing a lot of people don't realize that you'll need, special RV toilet paper. So this is uh, made to dissolve really well in your black tank so it doesn't muck up your sensors and stuff. You, you don't want to use just a regular toilet paper because it doesn't have the design that uh, the RV toilet paper does have. And of course, probably one of the, the worst parts of the, the camping experience is the dumping of your tanks. So you're definitely going to want to get you a nice hose. We do include one in your, your RV starter kit if you bought from us, but I always tell folks to save that as a backup because it's not the nicest one and of any place in the camping experience dumping the tanks is not the place you want to skimp a couple other essentials that i think to have would be uh, a few different types of chemicals for your toilet or your black tank um, we carry a variety of these as well there's also ways to freshen up and clean your freshwater tank so that the the water tastes good coming out of it and things to clean your gray water tank or your wastewater tank. We offer, again, a variety of different products in our parts store to help you take care of that. And then some other things that are, I think, essential to have are gonna be some wheel chocks. You can go with this basic plastic style wheel chalk that you just pull the tire right up to and you stuff it under, or you can go with a little bit more high end. This is what's called an X chalk. It actually will go between the tires on a dual axle unit and, and keep it from rolling. And then also Lynx levelers. What these are are basically like giant Legos that you'll use to kind of build up the the area so you pull your tires on and it's going to be nice and level to help you level out your RV because the jacks on your RV are usually just for stabilization not really for leveling. One final thing I wanted to mention that's a must have in your new RV is a fresh water hose. You don't want to use a regular garden variety hose because then you'll get that weird hose rubbery taste in, in your water. So they do make special hoses for uh, fresh water and filling that tank.
Now let's go over a few things that are kind of wanna haves, not necessarily something that you have to have, but definitely gonna be a, a nice thing to, to have along on the camping trip. We sell a lot of these RV outdoor mats. Uh, this one's here is eight foot by 11 foot. Again, another thing, we can get them in a variety of sizes, but this is just gives you a nice clean area right in front of your camper entryway so you can traverse in and out of the camper without bringing dirt in. And speaking of traversing in and out of the camper, they also make special covers for your RV stairs. These are great to, to obviously wipe your feet off, and they're also really good for pets because RV stairs aren't really pet friendly when it comes to the, the dog's or the animal's feet going up and down. So these will definitely make it more of a pet friendly experience. Some other things that you might want to consider having, especially if you're going to be doing some early season, late season camping, this is a heated hose. So this is going to be for your fresh water. It is a special hose made for fresh water, but it's also got the ability to be plugged in and keep you from freezing. This is actually rated to keep from freezing down to negative 42 degrees. Then uh, another thing, especially if you're going to be staying somewhere for extended periods of time and you have a dump right there on site, this is what's called a slunky. Basically what it does is it allows you to hook up your black hose and then you can set these in a way that it just slowly angles down. Just like when you'd be running pipes in a house, you always kind of want to head towards the drain and that would allow you to do that with your gray hose. A few other things that are just nice to have. So when you go to fill your fresh water tank it's just a gravity fill so this is a great tool to have to help you with that you can have the on and off switch right here this slides right into your fill uh, spot on the side of the camper so it just makes it a lot easier to fill your fresh water tank this is a pretty neat item too. So after you dump your, your waste tank and then you dump your gray tank to kind of rinse your hose out, you can also hook this up to a regular garden hose and then it hooks up to your waste tank hose and you can rinse it out again. So another nice feature to have here. And then what we've got here, is an RV water filter. So there are some campers, some coaches that even we carry that have built-in water filtration systems on them. But if you get a coach that doesn't have that built-in water filtration system, the inline filter is a great option. It's something that you just attach to the spigot and then the hose would hook onto this and go to the, the camper. And that's just gonna make sure that all the wet water is filtered down to a residential grade. Whether you're at a, a campsite, you don't know what their water's like when you're hooking up, or if you're filling up at your house and you're gonna be putting it in the tank it's always good to just run it through that filter another thing that i think would be a nice one to have if you don't have a, a black tank flush already built into your camper this gadget here is going to help you to rinse out your gray tank or your black tank i should say you simply hook a hose onto this the other end will drop down into your uh, black tank and if you look here there's actually a little guy that'll spin around and kind of spray off the sensors and help rinse out that black tank Another thing that is definitely nice to have to help you level your coach out, you could have our service department or you yourself could install some levels on the coach, one usually up on the tongue to give you side to side leveling, and then one usually somewhere on the side of the coach to get you front to back leveling. And these are pretty simple, just peel off and stick on um, applications. There's tons of different kinds of RV levels. And again, we offer a lot of them here in the store and uh, we'll help you find the one that is right for you. Another convenient thing, nice thing to have, this is a lock for a tongue, a tongue pull or a uh, travel trailer coach so that you don't have to worry about someone hooking up and heading out with your stuff. And they also make one for a fifth wheel. This just goes right onto the end of the kingpin, locks it up and just secures that as well. A couple other nice things to have, mirror extensions. Um, this is kind of a basic, more generic mirror extension. I can get you customized for your specific tow vehicle, the, the mirror extensions that you want. And I've got tons of different options again with these items to get you exactly what you want that's gonna to make towing more comfortable for you. And some things that I definitely recommend getting for your camper, a cover for your AC shroud. This is gonna help it from getting beat up by the weather. And there's things on the side of your AC that are called fins. And those, if those get damaged, the AC is not as efficient as it can be. Here in Colorado, that plastic can oxidize and get real brittle. So definitely would recommend getting an AC cover for when you're storing. And then also would recommend a tire cover when it's time for storage because uh, the dry rot on the tires is something you need to be concerned about. It's not so much tread life because you're not driving this like you would your regular vehicle, but you do want to worry about dry rot and stuff. So another thing to get for when you're in storage is a tire cover. You probably want to get five of them um, if you're in a dual axle, one for the spare tire and then one for each of the tires on the vehicle. And they're a nice upgrade if you don't already have it in your coach. All LED lighting, they make 
LED bulbs for a variety of different uh, coach light styles, and it's just gonna help you save that battery life, and it's gonna be a lot more efficient than a regular condescent bulb. All right, let's talk about some items now that you might want to add to the wish list for your uh, future RVing. Some things that a lot of folks uh, will do is obviously vent covers. We do have un unbreakable vent covers because those are the one of the things that probably get damaged the most with hailstorms and stuff like that are your vent lid covers. And that's where your max air fan covers really come in handy because with these guys on top, you can actually even leave your vents open while you're heading down the road. And they also make a thing called a max air fan that you can install in your vents so that you can uh, have air pulled through the camper another nice thing with this if you have that vent lid open and you're out at the lake or something and it starts to rain you don't got to worry about that water getting into your coach Another item that might be nice to add to your wish list, or heck, even get from the beginning, if you're gonna be doing a lot of dry camping, would be a generator. I carry the Briggs & Stratton as well as the Honda and Yamaha. All of these generators are super quiet. They actually are quieter than your, your average household vacuum cleaner. There's about a half a decibel difference between the Briggs & Stratton and the Honda and Yamahas. And what you've got here is a parallel kit. So you don't have to get one big generator. You can actually get two of the smaller, more portable generators, hook them together to give you enough power to run all the amenities in your coach. Right behind me, this is something I definitely recommend getting for any travel trailer. This is what's called an equalizer hitch. So it's gonna do a couple things for you. It's gonna equalize the weight off of the uh, bumper of the tow vehicle, and it's also gonna provide sway control. I carry two different styles of them. I've got the E2 Fastway. This is gonna give you 400 pounds of sway control, and it's a two-point sway control, so back and forth wiggle. Above that, we've got the four-point sway control. This is called the E4, and that's not only gonna give you back and forth sway control, it's also gonna give you a little bit against the pivoting of your uh, trailer while you're towing it down the road. Some other things that some folks like to get as they realize how much more they're camping and they're you know starting to do the snowbird thing where they're in it six months of the year down south. A couple of items here. We've got what's called a Wi-Fi Ranger. So this is basically gonna pick up any wireless signal that's around and rebroadcast it to your, your camper so that you have a stronger Wi-Fi signal for any of your devices, your laptops, your phone, what have you. You've also got the ability to install. Now this one here is set up on its own little tripod, but it can be installed permanently on the top of the coach. They make a few different styles of the, uh, the satellites for you to pick up TV. Dish Network, uh, Direct TV, those are a couple of the uh, providers that you would work with after you have your uh, satellite installed on top of your coach. So you have full HD channels no matter where you're at in the country. A few more items that you might want to add to the wish list is uh, solar panels. Most campers these days are coming pre-wired and set up for solar. If they're not, any service department can get you set up for solar panels. There's a couple ways to do it. This here is a portable so uh, solar panel that'll actually set up on its own little tripod and it just plugs into the side of the coach to keep a trickle charge on the battery. And then it folds up its own little neat briefcase carrying case. As you see right here, actually, we've got one of them. Um, and we carry them anywhere from 40 watts to 160 watts here in our parts store. Great way to just uh, extend the camping trip by keeping a trickle charge on your battery with solar panels. Then right behind me, something that a lot of uh, folks like to have on their coach is a backup camera so this will actually go on the rear of your rv so when you're going down the road or you're backing your trailer into places you can see what's going on behind you Final few things I want to talk to you about protecting your investment after you buy a new coach. There's a few different ways to do that here at The Great Outdoors. There are things like RV covers that a lot of people will go with, but here at The Great Outdoors, we actually recommend a product called First Place Finish because we've seen covers actually do more damage than good. So we offer a product that actually, unlike a wax, will form a chemical bond with the fiberglass or the aluminum on your trailer. And it's gonna help that from oxidizing and the badges peeling off and all that though it's actually got a five-year warranty against any of that happening and we also offer a, a protection for your interior um, both your your uh, furniture as well as the carpet will be protected with a first place finish that is going to be a stain resistant oil-based water-based stains ink markings things of that nature that'll be a lot easier to clean up if you get that first place interior protection and then just want to keep the coach looking good for a long time get the first place finish exterior protection for your new camper. 
Now, all campers that are new, at least, come with a manufacturer warranty. One thing that we recommend here at The Great Outdoors is protecting that investment a little bit more with an extended service policy. The company that we use, Protective, is actually the only one that's endorsed by the RV Dealers Association. They've been around since the early 1900s. They're not some fly-by-night warranty company, and they are accepted anywhere in the U.S. and Canada. They'll reimburse you for techs who can even do mobile services for you. Comes with a $100 deductible, but to replace a $1,500 AC, a $100 deductible nothing. So protect your investment with an extended service policy from Protective that we offer here at The Great Outdoors. There's going to be several items that are covered from slide outs to appliances, refrigerators, the leveling system. All of that is protected and your investment is protected as well. Thanks for spending some time with me today here at the Great Outdoors RV Company. We briefly touched on some of the items you're going to need to have for your new coach here after you purchase it. Some of the stuff you may want and some of the stuff to add to your wish list. If you have any questions about any of the items we discussed today, don't hesitate to give us a call 970-313-4337. Drop me an email, ryan at thegreatoutdoorsrv.com or you can uh, simply swing on by. And if you like our videos, make sure to comment, subscribe, and join our uh, YouTube channel because we put up videos of all our new units and we have several really useful videos on things like winterization, roof maintenance, all kinds of stuff just to make your RVing experience a little bit better.